Well, good day everybody. Welcome back to this week's tutorial in Affinity Photo. This week we are going to do the girl jumping through the portal. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off with our photo of this subway tunnel here. And the first thing we're going to do as normal is duplicate the background with the command J. Now to create the portal, I'm going to use the rectangle tool over here. Just going to click on that. Got my colors just set to normal at the moment, and I'm just going to drag out this rectangle to about the size that we think we're going to need. And I'm just sort of gauging the wall here of how tall a person would be just on this subway tunnel. Okay, I am going to duplicate that as well. I'm going to turn off the bottom one for now and come over here to fill. I'm going to use my color picker because I want to use the colors in the wall here to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to pick that color and then just fill it. I'm going to turn that opacity down as well just so you can just see through it. Probably about 35 is good and change that to screen. And we might actually up that capacity a little bit more. Probably 50. Probably looks a little bit better. Okay, still on our top rectangle, we're going to go to stroke. I want to use sort of a yellowy orange color for the stroke. And I want it to be probably about 10 points on here. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, for the second rectangle, I'm just going to turn the first one off. Turn on the second one and the fill for that one I want it to be roughly the same. I'm going to use the colour in the walls over here and give that one roughly the same sort of coloured fill. Okay, the difference on this one, I'm going to come up to filter and go to blur and gouge in blur. I want this one to be quite blurred, which it is, so it's really quite good. And I'm going to change that to screen as well. And now I'm going to turn on the top rectangle as well. And you can see here now it's given me this sort of nice outer glow for our portal. Okay, so let's put the portal in position. But first, first let's go to these two layers here and just group them into a group. And we'll call that portal. Okay, with the portal selected, let's come over here to our perspective tool click on perspective. So we want to change the shape of this portal here. I'm just going to take this one and drag it over. I'm going to use the floor here as a guide just to just get that into position so it sort of looks like it's sort of on a sideways glance. Let's have a look at that. Drop this opacity a little bit more. Okay so that's our portal in position here. Quite like the look of that sort of against the wall and on the side. So let's bring in our girl. So we're here, Command C. I've already cut her out, as you can see. And come over here to the picture and Command V. Okay, over to our Move tool. We just have to resize her. And sort of place her into the portal where you think getting the size sort of about there. Okay, let's come over here and put a mask onto our girl and click on the mask. Let's reset our colors up here, Command D. We want to be painting in black. Let's come over to our brush. Again, make sure we're painting in black here. The brush, we just want a nice soft brush, just a basic brush. And we're just going to make that brush a little bit bigger. And we're just going to paint out the girl's hand and this side of the portal. Okay, now let's drop the opacity and by the way guys if you just click on the word opacity and drag to the left you can reduce the size so i'm going to reduce that to about to about 50 and the flow as well to the same about just under 50 or 50 that's fine so that works for all of these just by dragging on the word and dragging left or right to um, reduce or to increase the size okay so now i'm going to change my brush to white and just nice and lightly just bring that hand and her leg slightly back in. As you can see, it's sort of like faded, like she's coming through the portal. Okay, let's just recolor the girl a little bit here. Let's click on the background. Let's come down to adjustments and HSL. Let's drag that onto the background here, just so we're recoloring her. And we are just going to 
bring up the magenta a little bit on her just so she's a little bit more magenta coming through through that portal okay the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to create some little paint splatters around here and with that one I've got some brushes and I downloaded them from the internet and they're called Cricut brushes which I will leave the link below and there's some really nice little splatter brushes here that we can use let's go with this one layer here we might just do this on a new pixel layer so we'll get our brush we've got our splatter layer go back to color go to this nice pink color again just increase that brush and you can just see those splatters there I might change it to screen and bring the opacity down a little bit as well just do as many as you like guys as many as you think that makes it look better what I usually do next is just actually duplicate that layer again and then one of those I will flip vertically okay another thing we can do is we can put a little bit of a shadow on the girl we'll come down to here to her layer here command J on that second one again arrange flip vertically I'm going to go to the move tool just move her down into place right underneath and then on that layer we'll come over here to the layer effects and I'm going to do color overlay on that one on and going to bring the opacity all the way down quite away just so we get that faint faint shadow and then while I'm on that layer I'm going to grab my erase tool and just erase that side of the shadow because you wouldn't have that coming through the portal so I just want it very faintly there we go one more thing we can do just to make it look a little bit better another pixel layer this time I'm going to use my brush a basic soft brush got the color 100% flows 25 let's turn down the opacity as well hardness is zero let's turn up the flow a little bit more and just on the floor here where she's coming out the same sort of hot pink color just going to give it a little bit of color like that but what we're going to do again we're going to put a blur a gaussian blur on that turn it all the way up apply that drop the opacity and change it to screen let's just move it in front there i think our shadow layer we could probably bring up a little bit more there we go and there we go everybody that is the basics of starting the picture of someone jumping through a portal um, you can go a lot further again with lots of little color adjustments that you like or changing the shape of the portal and guys if you did like this tutorial and you have learned something please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to my channel and until next week I'm gonna to say to you be brave go out and do something amazing and I'll see you in the next video.